Right. A wet winter and an ice storm that brought down trees may be a homeowner's nightmare, but it turns out to be a termite's dream. News Channel 6's Jason Nappy reports. Drip, drip, drip. That's a big open sign for bugs to start invading your home. Moisture is, is really is, is a key. Uh, all insects are attracted to moisture. Dwayne Dunbar has been treating termite problems for over 20 years. He says the wet winter we've had in the CSRA has set the stage for a lot more bugs this spring. Bug-wise, termite-wise, things seem to be at an increase. Dunbar says the more subdivisions that pop up where termites and bugs live, the more homeowners have to worry about. We can continue to put homes in other areas to where the pests uh, are, where they pests are and where they, and where they live. Dunbar says keeping storm debris away from your foundation is important to keep the bugs away, but it also helps to hire a professional. We're kind of invading their territory, and with that, it's important uh, to have, you know, some type of a professional uh, do an evaluation of your home and around your property just to ensure that everything is okay. It isn't warm and humid outside yet, but with spring right around the corner, it's only a matter of time before the bug swarming begins. With the warmer nights that are going to be coming in the very, very near future, that the pests will really, really become uh, active. Dunbar says the same goes for wood and concrete eating termites around your home. Uh, the termites this time of the year will start their swarming processes where their uh, kings and queens will swarm out of the nest and uh, try and form uh, new termite colonies. In Evans, Georgia, meteorologist Jason Nappy, WJBF News Channel 6. Termites cause more than $5 billion in structural damage each year, more than storms and fire combined. Most termite damage is not covered by homeowners insurance.